So here again, scraping a test hook foot. Just use some paper in between here to not mar the sides here. Then I use my five degree negative tool and just This is rock scraping anyway. As I said, this is rough scraping, so it doesn't really matter how you do it, as long as you get it done where it should be done. I've also used a file to get down in the corner, so this is relief here, on both sides. I blew up the tailstock end of the bed. Can't really remember how many cycles I've done, but Use a just a sponge type of uh, paint roller. Fingers, feel for dirt, grit. Same here. And it should be flat, so you can test it here to with an indicator, and then doesn't really matter which way you test it. Shall be flat anyway. So, uh, but let's do it this way, and then I. Wiggle it. You don't need to push down, of course, just let the weight of the piece do the work. Now I have a minimal blue on, at least uh, not much. Just uh, repeated cycles. So I'm starting to hit all over, really. So, uh, I can tell you it didn't begin that way. So now I cross it, of course, I've done this way, so I will do it this way. Easily seen where I took the long strokes here. So now one more go, and this way. These are really too long. I'm just experimenting a little bit. You can also now see, of course, where it's extra shiny 
high spots. And uh, the contact you can see here is just from, well, it was, was okay from the start. And then, um, yeah. uh, this was worn from the start, so I needed to do something anyway. I could have ground it, could have fine milled it, but anyway, I uh, think this is the best method and I would have had to test it anyway. I mean, it. How can you, how can you just grind it, uh, and then tell it's flat? You can't, really. You need to at least, if you then have just a ground surface, you can be very precise. But you don't really know until you have tested, do you? So I prefer to test it anyhow. I'm still a little bit le better there than here, but it's coming along good, I think. And of course, as a test of the scraping, you have to test the flatness of the piece here. So I Try to go all over here, see if it's flat, no risk taking it, see, this is already one other one that is scraped. And this falls back to zero. So quite good, this one also. And this is another tailstock I have. So just for the fun of it, I'll test this. This is, of course, probably worn. And it's not for this machine. Uh, doesn't look too bad, really. No scores, so we'll see. And the ground surface, uh, it could be, see, not really fitting, but see well this side was okay to give there and uh, this side yeah not really but uh, you see at least under here and then the third, also looking decent, I would say. And uh, apparently not so worn, at least it doesn't appear to be. So, same again. Um, for what it's worth. And then applying this. Of course, this needs to be adjusted, so both ways let's see if this fits better yeah this is how it can be ground and uh, that's probably acceptable even now i would like to have it a little bit more here and here but you need to test it anyhow because uh, that's Point I wouldn't know uh, before I assembled it whether the tailstock barrel pointed straight down with the possible deviation in that direction only, not that direction, but only this, and the same up, not down. So, uh, and here is the, another example. One that was newly taken out the part. Oil under where the gib has been. But 
think they're wear marks. I don't know how the bed that belong to this has what it looks, but I have my thoughts. So let's test it before scraping. Well, I don't think there is much contact here. Mm, well, there is some stripes, but we can improve that a lot. And of course, the point of it all is that to ensure the maximum contact area. Uh, by flatness and scraping for flatness and uh, so that it sits when you, uh, you use the lever and then pull these parts then together that uh, it has the maximum surface area contact so it shall have static fit anyway not sliding fit really uh, so i think we'll uh, satisfied when it's hitting all over so uh, that's uh, that's a good one I think and uh, of course we need to test the top here also or the underside of the tail sock itself same way just the same way Because all we are after 100% contact or the best contact we can at least. So uh, not too shabby. I just stoned it. We could probably improve a little bit. And of course, to finish off, new bearing, checking the screw. Um, new barrel. This is um, an imperial one because they tend to be bell mouthed, so sloppy here in the bore. Um, so probably okay with the standard, but they, these should also be really a little bit oversized so you can hold the bore. So testing this precisely the same way. See it's hanging over this corner a little bit more. Probably, we'll see. Oh. Not too bad really. Sitting quite, quite consistently all over a little bit down here, probably, but uh, not bad. <laughs> 